Now let me end with this thought. There is one difference between us and the psychiatrists. We say they're without a conscience, they say they're without a conscience. We say they have no hope, they say they have no hope. They say there is no answer, the difference is we do have an answer. Because the Word of God gives you the answer to everything. You say, what's the answer to the psychopath reprobate dilemma? What's the answer to the psychopath reprobate epidemic? Well, here's what I think. I wonder, I wonder what would have happened if someone, if some soul winner was out on the streets of Milwaukee and maybe a young boy named Jeff would walk by them on his bike playing basketball at the park and they would have went to that young boy and said hey let me tell you about Jesus God loves you Jesus died on the cross for your sins and you can be saved I wonder what would have happened if somebody would have reached out to a young boy named Jeff before he was known as the Milwaukee monster Jeffrey Dahmer when he was abandoned by his mother who had her own mental problems when he, as a young teenager, was literally living by himself because his father had moved out due to a divorce. When he was broken and hurt. Because these people were not always evil. They were children at one point that had the opportunity to say, I just wonder what would have happened if somebody would have reached out to a boy named Jeff and said, God loves you and God wants to save you and you don't have to go down that road. I wonder how many people's lives could have been saved. Somebody. Some church to care enough to maybe reach that now or reach that mom and bring them into church and teach them how to raise their kids and teach them what to do. I wonder what would have happened. I wonder what would have happened if there would have been some church, some soul winner, might have maybe knocked on the door of a teenage boy named Teddy before he was known as the notorious all-American killer, Ted Bundy. A young boy who as a, 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 as a young teen was struggling with the realization when he came to the realization that the people he thought were his parents were not his parents, and the girl who he thought was his sister was actually his mother, and he'd been lied to his own life, and he, and he learned how to deal with that. He got angry and bitter towards women as a result of being lied to. I wonder what would have happened if somebody would have reached out to a nine-year-old Teddy, to a 10-year-old Teddy, to a 12 or a 13 year old Ted and said, hey, you know what? Man will fail you and man will lie to you, but God loves you and God can save you and you can be free. I wonder if he would have got saved. How many lives could have been spared? I wonder if someone would have reached out to a young boy in Los Angeles named Richard who was being molested by his school teacher, who was being exposed to filth and pornography by his reprobate uncle. I wonder what would have happened if somebody, some soul winner, would have reached out to that Catholic home and got that mom saved and got that dad saved and got them in church and got Richard in church and taught them that we don't have to live like animals and God loves you and, 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 and these people that have molested you and done you wrong deserve to die. I wonder what would have happened if somebody would have ministered to him. Maybe he wouldn't have grown up to be the night stalker who killed many women, men, children. See, the thing is, we have the answer. It's always the same. It's the gospel. It's soul winning. It's reaching people with the gospel of Jesus Christ because here's what the psychiatrists say. We don't know what causes it. We don't know where it comes from. We don't know what makes them a psychopath, but we do know they reject God. They get angry at God. They get mad at God. And you know what? We can reach them before they cross that line. We can get them saved. We can show them that there are people that love them, that want to protect them, that want to preach the gospel to them, that care about them. You say, what's the hope? What's the hope for the psychopath reprobate is to reach them before they are a psychopath reprobate.